And in the chat right now is Whiskey Bets. Whiskey Bets, your mic is not muted. So, Whiskey Bet, the floor is yours. How you doing, Whiskey? Hey, Moran. How you doing? I'm outstanding, sir. How can I help you? Hey, uh, I was just curious. What's your price point uh, be at uh, for the earnings on uh, September 6th? Ooh, um, the stock price itself? Yeah, because uh, I'll be honest. I've been shorting GameStop, and uh, I think it'll probably get down to about, uh, I'd say about $11. Um, and then I'll probably pull out of my short. Did you, you say eleven dollars? So I think it's, uh, I think they're gonna miss on their on their quarter two earnings. <laughs> you said eleven dollars, right? Revenue is pretty much gonna be flat. Oh, okay. No, I just I mean it just the it, the history that they have, you know, in the last couple years. I mean, sure. and that was that was one of the reasons why I started my short position at one eighty because I realized be you know the everyone thought it was going to be a growth stock and then now they're just closing i love you i mean they, they have you have, have you ever watched my really channel that they can't they can't make what the have you ever watched my channel before have you been here before Whiskey, I can hear you still. Have I've you been actually here? watched. Um, yeah, I've actually watched uh, for the earnings. Okay. All uh, right, you'll go live for their for their earnings, and sure. uh, I mean they they really have. I mean, earnings have been awful. I mean it's it's, it's it really is. It's, 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 it's disappointing because you know I I I really feel for uh, you know retail investors because this is. Uh, So you're breaking up, but it's fine. But, you're, hold on, hold on. But, I'm going mean, to answer but, some but, of this. You know, it's, it's investing into, into meme stocks have, have been, but I think I think people are going to get scared of investing in actual good companies. Oh, okay. Because of, of this meme stock. Well, let's let's do this one by one. Let's have this conversation because the more I talk to you, the more GameStop goes up. So I'm really excited right now. Uh, beyond that, really daily action doesn't matter to me. So you claim that you're shorting GameStop and that you're happy to do it, but yet you're fearful for retail investors. Yet you're the guy who's going to sabotage that by shorting the stock. Um, and I'll explain it to you. You can do whatever you want. You're more than welcome to spend your money any way you want to. But if you don't understand the industry that is GameStop, right? The actual, where, where would you buy a video game? A console. Where would you buy it? Chances are I lost a guy on the call now when it's time to talk. But uh, this young this young man will come back in the chat, and I have no problem with that. When, when you drive into a good area there, Whiskey Bets, let me know, and we'll get you back into the chat. But to say that GameStop's earnings have been terrible, I don't understand this at all. Um, they have they had a cash burn issue in 2021, yet they still showed a profit of $86 million in the fourth quarter. So when I go through 2022 and the infrastructure is being built, you know, this in-sort logistics and new fulfillment centers and all the money that was spent to build up what GameStop is, now we look at 2023, this year that we're in, and they have a net loss position from quarter four to quarter one of $1 million. And then they had this second quarter right now, you say they're going to miss and hit $11 a share. That shows me you have no education whatsoever, or maybe you do. Maybe you're the plant of it all. Maybe you came in here to say the dumbest shit in the world. But for a stock to come down to $11, a stock like GameStop, that would put the market cap at about one, what, what, what would it be? Somebody do the math for me. 11 times three, that would be $3 billion market cap. You're talking about 50% of their annual sales, yet they have $1.3 billion in cash. And he finally dropped out of the call. But your math doesn't make sense. To pick a price and to say that's where it's going, and you tell me how it gets there. Don't just pick the price for the sake of picking prices. 
$11 a share would put up one of the best equity positions to buy a share. Everyone in the world would be would benefit from buying GameStop at that point because the cash alone is at $4.19 a share. So how the hell could you tell anyone that they would they should be buying GameStop? at seven dollars a share that is not even possible it's not even possible what this young man just said and he can understand all the shorts in the world and he and i would tell him realize your profits now because if he's such a great trader and he started shorting at 180 and we're at 16 dollars today what the fuck are you waiting for don't Brad, worry i'm what's here with you basis? say it again What's your cost basis? My I know you're down cost- several thousand dollars on, on GameStop. What I know that? you are. No, I, I have 50, down- I have 50 oh. shares, young man. No. That's all I no, have. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. I know you don't. Come on, okay. man. You're, you're, you know, you, you, I know you can, you can lie to yourself all you want, okay. but you know that this has been a failed investment. A failed investment? You know what has. Okay. So what's the declaration of fail? Like, do I sell now? I, do I sell now? At 16 bucks, should I sell? We're having a conversation. Bro, if you don't park your goddamn Astro minivan somewhere and have a conversation with me, still can't hear you, whiskey bets. I used to do this whenever I was talking to girls that I didn't like. I'd be like, I'd be like this. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 I'm breaking up. Oh, the phone's gonna hang up. Oh. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, TK, I can hear you perfect, bro. Hey, I'm sorry, man. I'm not used to Discord. I couldn't figure out how to do this, but uh, yeah. I just followed you just by watching your rants on Mullen. Yeah. And, you know, I think that you're doing some great DD work. Uh, and then I kind of followed you now, and I saw some recent videos on the GameStop. And I'm not in it. Okay. And I kind of stayed away from it because, I, like I said, I didn't know much about it. But this conversation you're having with this whiskey pee is intriguing. So for someone like me who's not in it. Sure. You know, just like, yeah, give like the simple synapses is like, you know, I'm new to this. It's like, what is it? What's the what's the gist of this? You know what I'm hey, saying? So, Why? Well, let's attack one thing at a time. So the first thing, yeah. whiskey here needs to have better Internet. If he ever wants to prove a point, that's the first thing. Second thing, let's talk about GameStop. GameStop has a float of 300 million shares. Now, as it was stated in the Discord yesterday, unlike multiple other companies, they only have one class of shares. They don't have multiple classes. Therefore, the shares you're buying are the same shares that the board of directors has or anyone else out there. There is no private equity involved with GameStop. RC Ventures is the one guy, and that's Ryan Cohen by himself. Yes. He has owned up to over a billion dollars of GameStop at one point and did not sell a single share worth of GameStop. So... Then he's an idiot. No, what do you mean? Who, who is this? Is this back to Whiskey? Whiskey, is that you again? <laughs> hey, Whiskey. Yeah, he's an idiot. If he's he, an he idiot. Should okay. Have pulled, he should have pulled uh-huh. with it, yeah. Okay, hey, Whiskey. This guy hasn't done anything for GameStop. <laughs> Every single thing that he said he is that he has tried has failed. Okay. The guy got lucky. He, he, he sold his company. Hey, are you Mark Yotis' assistant? What, what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, man. Go ahead. Keep talking. I just, I think it's hilarious, man. I think that you've been following this stock for three years, and yep. it's just been going down. It's hilarious. Good. That's you awesome. Can't see, so, you, you can't see through the through the, the trees, man. I mean, it, it's okay. crazy. I'll do this with you, okay? I'm going to show you some whiskey, because I've followed a lot of stocks for the last three years. And out of all those stocks, <laughs> out of all those stocks, <laughs> well, can you stop talking to me while you're underwater? I swear to God. Just listen. Out of all the stocks in the world, you got your point across, and I heard you clearly. This is a failed investment, and Ryan Cohen's the worst. Why is it that there's no 8Ks being dropped by GameStop in panic mode? There's nothing being done to dilute this company, just take away from the investment itself. You call Ryan Coyne an idiot. <laughs> 37 years old, billionaire. I'm going to tell you what he's not. He's not a failure. He hasn't failed yet. And when he fails, and if he did fail, 
He's young enough to try again and try again. I'm I'm a contrarian on that end of it. You can be the guy you want to be. You sound like a shorter. You are a shorter with the same script as everyone else. The only difference is I read balance sheets. You obviously don't. And on the balance sheet, the number one stock on the whole damn S&P 500 for percentage of equity per share is GameStop at 26%. But not on the S&P 500. Oh no! Find me one. Go for it. I'll wait right here, whiskey. You go find me one. Not in the S and P five hundred. I'm trying to tell you, there's not one in the S and P five hundred that beats out GameStop. So what the fuck is your point? Go find me a stock. They're never gonna be in the S and P five hundred. They're never gonna be in the S and P five hundred. They're losing money every single year. Their market cap is going down every single year. (laughs) Oh, you make me laugh. Do you know? Let me. Let me tell you this, and smart guy. Harder in the last three years because you know it's up like twenty-seven percent, right? What and is? GameStop is down. I don't know what sixty-five percent. Is that your argument? Hold on, don't talk. Don't talk again. That's your argument because it's not about the top of the S and P five hundred. This is where you're dumb. It's about getting in the S and P five hundred, and at the bottom of it, it went from fourteen point eight billion all the way down to eleven billion. It has been dropping off over twenty-three percent. The prerequisite to get into the S and P 500 has come down because the seven stock the seven stocks that push listen listen with your ears god gave you two ears and one mouth for a reason now listen the reason why the stock market the s&p 500 is pumped is because seven stocks run it without those tech stocks it's under so don't give me your bullshit learn what the macro trend is and what gamestop is doing is completely opposite they're never going to get on the S&P 500. Oh, they no, no. Okay. They don't make money. Okay. They don't make money? No, they don't. Okay. What is okay. that revenue? They have, they have no profit, Moran. Okay. You know hey, watch you know and learn. No- watch and learn. Watch and learn. Listen, to me. you're going to remember this conversation the rest of your life. And okay. so will I. The rest of your life, you're going to remember this conversation. We're early. We're correct. You're completely wrong. You can relish in the victory today. You're the type of guy that walks in and says, you know what? I'm the strongest man in the world. But then you stop working out. I'm out here. I'm conditioning myself for what it is. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. And you have no, and you have zero You have convinced yourself that this is... Go for it. Go for it. I just broke down your S&P 500 argument why you're wrong. We'll keep going. What else do you want to do? I've been mad for the last three years. And the people who are starting are the only ones that have made Sure. Sure. You're in it for a quick game. That's on you. I'm worthless bears of GameStop. It's, 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 it's hilarious, man. Worthless. It is hilarious. I'm going to buy them all, bro. I'm going to buy them all. Hey, I, I'm curious. Out of all the stocks in the stock market that we pay attention to, right? We'll just use all these meme stocks, as you call them. How is it that GameStop went from the Russell 2000, 1000 to the S&P 400 mid cap? Why are they going up? I don't understand. Moran, they don't make money. You know they don't. No, 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 no. I just said a real fact, and you deal with they don't make money. Six billion dollars in sales, but they don't make money. No, shortening their footprint, lowering their SGNA, but this that's a not a good that thing. That's a bad thing. We should this be slowly dying. You know what? Oh no, no, no! We should be expanding. They're closing stores. Yes. Wouldn't They're you? Not- wouldn't you? If you had fourteen hundred leases up for renewal this year alone, wouldn't you close the stores? Because the interest rates to re-up those those leases are what astronomical. Why would I be growing during the worst time in the history of the last forty years? It's Why would I grow now? It's like Something you live under a fucking rock. An Amazon killer. An Amazon, Amazon killer? Amazon killer. <laughs> Why can't we coexist? Why hilarious. can't we coexist? Oh, you can't have more than two. You can't have Pepsi and Coke? You and use video games. That's all you do. Oh, use video games. That's funny. I'm buying new ones this month and next month, but you know, what do I know? 
you're going to pay more at GameStop? Absolutely. To buy an app? Absolutely. Video game? I pay more for American-made okay. shit than I do China shit because I support American-made products. I support GameStop, my brand, the company I own. I pay more for it because I support GameStop-made products. That's what it is. It's called brand and recognition, you're, you're, brand loyalty. People buy Teslas over Camrys because they are ca they're Tesla stupid. investors. Not because Tesla's that's a better true. vehicle. That's how smart you are if you're going to pay more for something. Oh, yeah? What should I do? Should I be a sellout like you? Should I short my fellow investor, my fellow retail investor? You pick the side in the sand and you're on it. Stay on it. Stay on that side of the table. You're you guys are arguing, and I'm actually kind of a newbie since sideline. I know, I 10K. You're doing great, bro. Okay, that's all good. I just kind of wanted to hear the finish the story. Yeah, I know, but this guy, he's down for yeah. whatever. I'm letting him talk, though. I'm giving him his time. It's time to shine because these shorts don't you. come around that often. They don't really have a, a bear case against GameStop. They don't understand the bull thesis because they don't live, eat, sleep, and breathe it like the rest of us. But these guys who are going to catch up late, they're going to be the same guys that say, Marantz, I wish I would have saw you sooner. I wish I would have came in earlier. The truth is this. GameStop had private equity driven within that company for the last 20 years. And these private equity firms all pounce on companies as they go bankrupt. And you've seen it happen with GNC, Zell's Jewelers, Claire's, uh, Party City, P Pier 1 Imports. It doesn't matter. Pick any any company that doesn't exist anymore. Sears, uh, yeah. Macy's bought out previous like 40 different times. Radio Shack, you name it. Circuit City, it all happens, right? Hollywood Video, I don't care. Here's what happens. Right. Industries change. And unfortunately, gamers are born every day. So shorters like this don't understand. You know, when you see CV Payne, Charles Payne puts out a tweet yesterday and he's like, oh my God, the manipulation, blah, blah, blah. But then at the same time, he quotes a Wedbush price target. It's like, why are you quoting Wedbush when you know that you're in bed with Wedbush? Like, it's the same thing. Everyone wants to push out these narratives that every other stock is connected to what GameStop is. They never let just GameStop sit on its own. And if GameStop's sitting on its own, it's undefeated. It's going to be undefeated because in those 10 years, 15 years that private equity was in there and government Cutting the shit out of it. Guess what they did? GameStop bought AT&T. They bought Cricket. They bought 7,000 stores. And you think that they were going to they keep expanding and growing? No, they were over leveraging them on purpose. They were gutting the company dry. So when the impairment charges rolled in, which they did, they showed a billion dollar loss on the books. They're still profitable. They were still making money, net profit. But, they, but the actual impairment charges are what made them look even worse. And then they still got attacked even on top of that but somewhere down this road guys like me read a balance sheet and we understand the shit because that's what i do for a living you see whiskey you can go ahead and short stocks for a living but you know what i do i evaluate retail companies for a living i actually look at the balance sheets and i build them and i understand where the sgna is hiding i understand where the profit's hiding and when it rolls through and i see a balance sheet it makes sense there's to no me for GameStop. what did you say i'm sorry you interrupted there's no, again there's no profit there's no, no profit, profit. For okay GameStop. then don't worry about it. Then don't come in here and have to pla splash the pot. I with love it. it. You keep, on, keep on buying shares of this company. Keep yes, on I will. You're throwing away your money. It's, I will. It's, it's hilarious. Dude. I will. Okay. You know what's crazy? Okay. I'm waiting for the stream. Man, you've been insane for three years. Oh, wait to this. Wait to this. Yeah, we, we're still waiting, buddy. We're still waiting. Okay. You don't think you are? I'm dumb money, right? You're smart money. Is that what it is? I'm smarter than you, apparently. I don't think so. Because you're hanging out with me. <laughs> okay. Who's smarter? Yeah. The guy hanging out with the dummy or the dummy? I'll remember okay. this day. I'll remember this day. Yeah. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to clip luck. this. I'm going to clip this yep. video and I'm going to put it out there and be like, guys, you remember the day this idiot said this because Ape went under? Show me your portfolio. Show me how green you are. You know what? I have a Discord. You're in Discord right now. Go to the A go to the GameStop channel in this Discord right now and post your position. Post it. Mr. I short the stock. I'm in, and I have all this money, Mr. 180 short. Go post it right now in the Discord you're in. Go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can do that. that I know. Hey, go get it. I'm Simple math. All right, back to the story, young man. Um, Ryan Cohen came over and bought in on GameStop, and they went ahead and had a plan, and the plan is to make this company great again, and they're doing it, and they're doing really well. GameStop is the only company out there that has zero debt, 
great leadership. It has a fanatic fan base, which we're going to keep buying. I'm going to keep buying. I don't care what these guys do. I'll keep buying. What was that? Say it again. Stock price is down over 60%. Yeah. That's the actual fluctuation of most stocks any given fiscal year, up to 50% from high and low. You have to know that. You have to know that the average stock price fluctuates 50% year over year, every fiscal year. Go name me a goddamn stock. Name me one that has volatility and you, the people being pessimistic about it and or optimistic like me, and you tell me which one's going up and down about it. Tesla dropped 50% this year. What else dropped 50%? Are we pissed off at them? They shorter money you know what's the craziest part if there was a streamer out there that was openly short about gamestop you know what i wouldn't do i wouldn't go to his stream and combat him and try to fight him about it Be like you're wrong i wouldn't do that but you have to because you have to incite fear on this crowd unfortunately you walk into a buzzsaw because you know what we've been fucking doing for two and a half years hitting our head against the fucking wall making ourselves stronger that's what we've been doing oh, that's what we've been doing yeah i condition myself for all the guys like losing you. money i'm losing money what money have i lost did i realize losses did i realize profit i've done nothing i keep buying i'm oh, accumulating oh what, a, what a stupid thing to say oh you only lose if you sell come on man no it's you not that money it's gone. is it time for me to sell so much stuff is never going back up man it's okay not. keep talking though the price keeps going up right now it's awesome it just hit 17 dollars <laughs> that was great keep going <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but you've been hiding, you've been lurking on me for a while, right? Say that again. No forward guidance this company has. No forward guidance. Why do I want to know? Why do I want to know the game plan? Is that it? I need to know every damn move. What are you, a micromanager? I don't operate that way. Really? Okay, what do you buy? What do you buy? Oh, they already gave you the forward guidance. They said, guess what? Pragmatic growth. We're going to do our best. That's what they said. You don't want to invest on that? That sucks so far. It's been healed by Lily because they actually have nothing, uh, you know, love that actually help out people. That's forward guidance. Oh, man, it's hard to hear you, bro. Your stop is, is doing nothing. They're holding stands. They're firing people. I, I they have no future. They have no future? Is that what it's you said? Louder. Bro, if you if you speak a little louder, I can hear you, man. Take the L. You're the true definition of a pillow biter. Because you sound like you're just talking into a pillow. Honestly, bro. But it's okay. I like guys like you. You actually have a place to come and speak your piece. And I give that to you. Anything else? Yo, is this Whitby Clown gonna show up September 6th or 7th after we run <laughs> on Good News? No? What do you think the odds of that are? Oh, baby. Don't get me started. It's not going below dollars on September 6th. Okay, hold up. Okay. Hold up. Let's write that. Let's write that down. What'd you say? What price is going below $12? Yep. Okay. $12 on September 6th? Yeah, All right. What do you think it's going to go? Over 20? I don't think so. Do you remember the last earnings call? Do you remember the last earnings call? You were there, right? I posted a video last earnings call before and when this is when when GameStop was at $17 a share, $18 a share. And I said tomorrow at earnings, it's going to go all the way up to $27 a share. Everybody told me I was wrong. Anybody know what it hit the next day? Well, TK, back to you. Do you have any questions about the stock? Uh, yeah, uh, just because I'm just on the sidelines. Like I said, I kind of wanted to hear uh, where this GameStop was going. That's the reason why I kind of want to hear the bull side. The goddamn moon. The goddamn yeah. moon. But uh, we we're talking like the mechanism, I guess, is what you're saying is because Ryan Cohen has got all these shares and this stock has been shorted to hell. So in the end... It's going to reverse okay, because of that. Listen, listen. I'm not invested because the stock is short. 
I hope people know this. There are. Yeah, you believe in the company. I'm a, I'm a I'm a fundamental investor. I'm a value investor. I see extreme okay. value in a company that has zero debt, great leadership, and when you look at the balance sheet, it's all pluses. They are Thank hiding. You. They are sandbagging the number. They have been this whole past three years. I've known this and I've shown it. And if you read the fine print, you'll see it all come to fruition sometime in March of next year. And then when that happens, hey, they've held it down this long. I thought the price would be way higher than what it is today. I thought it would be you know, $40 a share all the way up to 90. Yes, I've thought that through. I've actually done the model and shown it. But guess what? I can't anticipate what happens with the economy, but I can right. invest past that. So when, when macro trends fade and this economy starts booming in five years, 10 years, whatever it may be, you bought GameStop that had a cash position of $4 per share. You bought it at what? 16? That is amazing. You cannot buy a company for $12 a share with a minimal float of 300 million shares. That's not possible, man. And for guys out here to not understand market caps and the eventuality of what could happen in the retail sector, certainly for GameStop, and the transition, why you wouldn't want to grow, you have to sit on your cash in a cash-burning era like it is right now. But that's the best you can do. The, to not expand and save cash right now is the best thing you can do. Then when it's time to quote unquote pounce and grow, well then we can transition to that. But right now it's the best value that I can find on the stock market and I've looked and I've shown. Okay, I got you. It is truly by the numbers a value company, which is why this is so bullish. And it's just a matter of economics, the, the world economy to actually normalize to realize what that true value is. Correct. Basically. Correct. Gotcha. And it okay. will and when you're telling you know you got shares of 16 bucks bros you guys are gonna find out exactly what they're worth one day and you're gonna be like yo Marantz was right again it's not that I'm right or wrong it's not that I don't ever want to do it that way it just fucking happens because it's called math